So for over 20 years, I've been waiting for the technology that would allow me to reach really deep into the brain and hit the targets I believe will help chronic diseases like fibromyalgia and myalgic encephalomyelitis, chronic fatigue syndrome, and long COVID, and Gulf War illness. And now that technology is a reality. So I want to give you a quick update on what that looks like and how it may help chronic pain and fatigue disorders. Uh, so what I'm talking about is neuromodulation. And neuromodulation tools have existed for decades, uh, but they've been there's been lots of limitations that prevented me from using them. They either didn't reach deep enough into the brain, like transcranial magnetic stimulation, or they were too invasive, they were too dangerous, like requiring the insertion of an electrode for deep brain stimulation, uh, or many, many other reasons why most neuromodulatory tools would not work for my purposes. But that seems to have changed now finally, uh, with transcranial-focused ultrasound, or TFUS. Now, this uses high-frequency sound waves to alter brain function, and it can reach any part of the brain, and that's the part that's exciting to me. So let me put up a brain uh, picture here. The basic idea is I pick a region that I think is responsible for a condition like MECFS, for example, the subgenual anterior cingulate cortex that you can see here in green. And then if we send an ultrasound beam through the brain, it won't do anything to any part of the brain. And if we send a second beam simultaneously through the brain at a different angle, it also won't do anything. But if we keep sending beams from different angles, there's an accumulation of energy at the specific point where the beams beams converge. And depending on the parameters of the beam, we can affect the activity of that brain region. And that allows us to do really a, a, a lot of amazing things. We can change neuronal firing. We can heat up that region enough to ablate the region. Uh, we can use it to open up the blood-brain barrier to let a drug hit just that part of the brain. And what's probably most exciting for me, we can use it to switch microglia from an inflammatory state to an anti-inflammatory state. So I've been waiting for this for quite some time, and now the technology has great precision, and many of the safety concerns have been addressed. So here's an example, a real example from researchers at Oxford showing just how precise the targeting is. You can see here a local increase of temperature. That's what's being measured in the color here. And so the temperature increases at the point where the beams converge. And so you can really see that it we can target very specific regions of the brain. So where we're at now is that there are several companies developing these devices and they're seeking FDA safety approval. They're getting the devices ready to try to get them out for medical and clinical use. Uh, we met with some of these companies uh, that are developing these devices about a week ago, and the progress is really impressive. So I believe there's going to be multiple devices available quite soon. What I have to do next is figure out which of these devices makes the most sense for what I'm trying to do. There are many considerations. How does it target the region accurately? What parameters does it give us access to? How does it correct for skull thickness and density? What are the safety mechanisms? So I'll be talking to the device developers to figure all that out. And then when I choose and am able to get a hold of one of the devices, um, which as a researcher, I can use the devices before they're actually out for medical use because I'm testing it for research purposes. So when I get the device, I can start piloting it. I'll test the brain regions that come up from my neuroimaging work, and I'll see, is it helping these conditions? And then if the preliminary information looks good, we'll turn that into a clinical trial and generate conclusive evidence that it's actually helping these conditions. So hopefully the goal is that there'll be a time when if you have post-exertional malaise or you have chronic fatigue or cognitive impairment or maybe chronic widespread pain or other symptoms of brain inflammation, you can come into a clinic 
and have that condition treated with one of these ultrasound devices. And some researchers are even working on devices that you can take home and wear while you sleep, which is really interesting. So that's the basic story. It's really, I just wanted to say, it's really exciting to see the rapidly advancing technology. And I'm eager to try this in the conditions that I study. And so this is something I'm, I'm prioritizing quite a bit in terms of um, how I'm going to spend my time on testing treatments for these uh, chronic conditions. So I'm going to keep you up to date on what's happening with the ultrasound and all of my projects right here on this channel. So I hope that you're able to come back each week. And uh, thanks a lot. Hope you have a good week.